firing a bullet into a piece of modified human skin. The video itself, along with a skin sample, are works by Dutch artist Jalila El Saidi. Work that stands up to the harshest of critiques. El Saidi's idea came from her interest in combining the genius of the natural world and the temporary nature of life. Well, the idea started in 2001 when I read an article of Dr. Randy Lewis who created a transgenic uh, goat. And I really got inspired by that idea because uh, he created spider silk to produce on a large scale for a uh, bulletproof vest, one of them. And I thought, why bother about the bulletproof vest? Why not create a bulletproof human uh, instead? The blended skin was the result of a collaboration with a cell biologist. The layers of spider silk embedded in the skin allow the cultivation of larger sheets of tissue, which literally outgrow the Petri dish. But what began as a work of art has now become a project with scientific value. Tests show the fabric's skin being hit and holding a .22 bullet, albeit fired at a reduced speed. Abdul Wahib El Gabzuri says the weave is three times stronger than Kevlar. A normal bulletproof vest has 33 layers of composite materials, but he says the silk has real potential. We had only four layers of, skill, of silk, which is of course nothing compared to 33. So we believe that if we generate a skin model with 33 layers, yeah, I think we could definitely hold a bullet. The applications for blended skin are likely to stretch far beyond art, with research suggesting the silk provides a viable framework for cell growth. Spider silk is also a very good scaffold, could be a very good scaffold uh, for uh, bone uh, regeneration, uh, cartilage, uh, tendons, uh, ligaments. So Gabzuri says the potential is enormous. While it won't replace Kevlar anytime soon, art and science are combining to weave a future made of silk. Stuart McDill, Reuters.